Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing the Soto Windmaster Stove from SotoOutdoors.com. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making a lot of high-end stoves for backpacking and lanterns as well as some other stuff too. So you definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making some pretty nice stuff. Okay, so the Soto stove, this is the Windmaster. It comes in a little tiny stuff sack, and I do mean tiny. This thing fits right here in the palm of my hand. So I'm gonna get out of its little stuff sack. I'm gonna show you how cool this thing really is. So stuff sack, kind of fold that off, put it off to the side. I'll just put it in my pocket for now. So here's your stove right here. Soto micro regulator. Windmaster, and I do mean Windmaster, and what that means is the way the stove is designed, that the stove sits down in this little dish right here. That being said, when the wind hits it, it doesn't blow the stove out. It kind of, this blocks the wind. It has its own little built-in windscreen, which is really nice, innovative, and works well. And it comes with this right here. This is the Triflex. So this is a three-prong pot holder, and it just kind of folds flat. You basically just, uh, Let's see here, this slides open right here. So you kind of just flip that open like that. And then there's your pot stand. So this kind of fits around the stove, just kind of like that. And then once that's in place, now you have a three prong pot support that's really gonna help support with these little ridges right here. So it's gonna help hold your pot in place and it's less likely to slide off. Another cool thing that I really like, branding. Soto Outdoors written right there, stamped right into the metal. So good job, Soto. Soto logo right there. And when you're done with this, this thing just kind of pops off, folds flat, and tucks in its own little notch right there. So when you're ready to open it, you kind of just slide this and it pops open. This little guy right here is what holds it in place. Just like that. That folds relatively flat. Now, when you buy this stove, it also comes with the Forflex, and this is for bigger pots, and this is pretty cool because this is spring-loaded, and that's basically the design here, and these little guys flip open like that to produce a much wider pot base. So I'm gonna put this on now. Basically, it just slides around. like that just like that and once that's in place you can pretty much spin this thing and it's not going anywhere but you can just see the how much wider the pot base is now with the four flex this is included with the Soto stove and these little guys just fold out of the way for easy storage just like that and then when you're ready to use it boom another thing that I really like branding even on the little pot stand on the four flex really cool now on the stove also branding piezo igniter this is your micro regulator so what's important to understand about a micro regulator stove is that a micro regulator will provide constant pressure in hot or even extreme cold climates so you know that you're going to have a very efficient stove even though it is small and it looks flimsy this is a powerhouse little stove so this stove weighs in by itself at two ounces flat really really lightweight but really efficient as well uh, with the triflex pot stand it weighs in at 2.3 ounces and with the four flex weighs in at three ounces flat so even at three ounces with the four flex you know you have a really lightweight very powerful stove this stove will have a max burn time of about an hour and a half on high with an eight ounce fuel canister and i've tested this and i got about an hour and almost an hour and 40 minutes just on high i just let the thing burn till it burnt out and it did everything it didn't overheat it, it took the test so what i am going to do today is i am going to show you a boil time i'm going to boil 16 ounces of water i'm over here at the beach obviously and we're gonna you know boil 16 ounces of water granted it's a little windy right now so we're gonna see how fast this thing boils all right so i have my snow peak titanium mug here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put 16 ounces of water which I have right here, 16 ounces of cold, cold, cold water. Granted, it's a little chilly today, but it is Central Coast, California, so 
Uh, the sun's coming up, it's starting to warm up, probably get up to about 70 today, but this morning it was about 40. So still, this water is pretty cold. I would say it's not like seawater cold, but cold enough. And we're gonna put it in the pot and we're gonna hook it up on top of the stove. I do have a fuel canister here. This is a little four ounce little fuel canister. And I have a, um, a stove fuel canister uh, stand right here, just so we can keep it nice and level and keep it secure. As I said, it's a little windy today. So I'm gonna hook this thing up onto the stove, just like this. Okay, it's off. Now we're gonna fire this thing up. I'm gonna pour some water in and we're gonna boil. All right, 16 ounces of water going in right now. All right, so I'm gonna fire this bad boy up. There it goes. And the water's on. Here we go. Okay, so that's on full right there. Also too, on the actual stove itself, it has a plus and minus um, uh, arrow. So you, you can go, you can tell which way is on and off. And granted, righty tighty, lefty loosey, of course, that's the golden rule, but it's just nice that they put that on there. Just a little extra something. And uh, I really like it. just about there. Yeah, we're pretty much boiling. There it goes. 
We're at a boil. I'll go ahead and turn this down. So just as a close up here on the stove, here's that little plus minus, your little piezo igniter and your valve. Now what's cool about this is when this is all packed, this little guy will flip up and tuck out of the way. It's just like that. So when this thing is out of the way, so after you get the four flex off, I mean, you have a really, really small stove that fits in the palm of your hand. You have a very nice, really thick black rubber O-ring around the base here, so that's really gonna seal around the canister very well too. All right guys, so that's my review of the Soto Windmaster uh, backpacking stove with micro regulator from SotoOutdoors.com. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making a lot of high-end stoves for backpacking, mountaineering, as well as lanterns and other gear too. So you definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys are doing some really cool things. If you like my review and found it informative, you want to get one of these for yourself or as a Christmas gift. You know, Christmas is coming. They make great gifts for the outdoorsman or outdoorswoman in your life. Click on that link down in my description box below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my website. Another way to help support is to click on that support button right on my YouTube uh, channel's homepage. When you do that, you can donate any number of dollars and that's gonna allow me to produce higher quality content to give back to you. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Please leave them down below in my comment section and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also too, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. Make sure you click on that. This way you stay up to date on the latest gear reviews that I'm working on. Another way to stay connected is to go to my website, which is in the, there's a link in the description box, trailermountain.com, and there'll be a little pop-up, a little opt-in, put in your name and email address. This way you'll get emails every time I post something new. This way you stay up to date with the latest stuff that I'm working on. Thanks again for tuning in to trailermountain.com. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews and other outdoor-related hodgepodge. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.